Our night begins at New Haven. Bulldogs hosting Blackhawk Christian Braves with a lot of talent back from last year's state championship team. The Braves and Bulldogs clash in our signature matchup. All these New Haven kids want for Christmas a Bulldogs win, but the Braves getting a lot from Caleb first. Throwdown for the Blackhawk Junior early in the night, and Purdue head coach Matt Painter in the building to watch first play. They got an offer to him. He'll see something great from that kid later in this highlight. New Haven on a nice run later in the second quarter. Jakar Williams scores, count the bucket and the foul. He'll lead New Haven with 16. Donovan Lewis right there with him. Great job to shake a defender and get in the bucket. Lewis adds 15. Game goes to halftime tied, but then the Braves pull away. Marcus Davidson shooting well. Knocks down this three. He ends up with 20 points. And first leads the way with 23. Off a Braves miss. It's first with an emphatic put back dunk. Great win for Blackhawk Braves. Win on the road 74 to 48. I was proud of how our guys responded, you know, and uh, I give New Haven a lot of credit. They were ready for us. I thought they played very well in the first half. And uh, second half defensively, I thought we really set the tone. They kind of knocked us off of what we were trying to do. and We just played a little passive in the first half, so we wanted to go in, you know, play our offense, play our defense, get the shots we wanted, and just, you know, play the way we play. Two of the best in SAC girls hoops meeting tonight at Homestead, the 5-0 Spartans and 6-1 and Carroll Chargers. Each winning game so far by an average of over 20 points a game. The Spartan coach Rod Parker coaching his last weekend. He will undergo cancer surgery on Tuesday. And we all wish him the best in this tough battle. Sianna Patterson's first game back from her knee injury and she was on her game. Grabs the loose ball coming on down for two of her game high 25. 23 more coming from Sydney Graber who Molly Strock will find open in the corner for the three ball. Spartans running away in this one early. Emily Parrott doing what she can for Carroll. Gets a nice short baseline jumper to go, but that only stemmed the tie for a little while because Homestead's in command. The freshman stock with the inbound and three ball. Homestead rolls in this one. 69-27 with both teams gathering at the game to pray for Coach Rod Parker. I just think everything was working well. The ball was moving really fast. I think, you know, it was just more than basketball tonight. We were all motivated just to make people proud, um, you know, especially with some health conditions. So it was just bigger than basketball. We just wanted to make a statement tonight. Those two weeks off, I mean, it was kind of tough for me with sitting there watching my team, but I was, I was great for, I was great for just being there and the circumstances that I was in. I'm at coaching up Northrop Bruins against Dwenger. The Saints come to this one eight and one. Destiny Jackson with a nice play here for Northrop. Stop and go drive to the hoop. She'll finish. She had nine and she had 15 rebounds with them. Saints have a good stuff in this one as well. Steal by Lexi Linder. Dish to Molly Ream. She scores two over 10. Then it is Ream going to look in low and find Maggie Cheever for two more. This was a battle for the whole night. We go to the final minute of regulation. Deanna White grabs a rebound, takes it end to end, and watch this finish to score it with a foul. She gained 22 points, and the Brewers were winners in overtime, 58-55. to 55. Coach Juanita Goodwell and Southside playing at Snyder. Archer is off to a great start. Alea Chapman re threads the needle to Cassidy Connolly for an Archer bucket inside. Then off a miss, it's Lamaya Woodson with the board. Going up strong, scores off glass. Woodson ends up with a double-double, and the Archers get the win at Snyder. Final score is 63-37. Now let's flip on over to Bayhay Arena. Northside girls battling Bishop Lures. And all nights on Friday night, clear lane for Celia Arich, the sophomore, lays it in. Then Lures showing off some of its shooters. Katherine Heine's long two-pointer on the money. The Lady Knights well in front at this point. Lydia Reinbold will lead Lures with 16 in this game. Here is a three-pointer in the third. And Bishop Lures gets the win on the road 72-8. to eight.